writer Modulamin H. Amusav Saul on Friday launched his first book titled Don't Judge the Book by the Cover. The launching at Ebunjan Theatre included an international conference and also the unveiling of the Award of Excellence for the African Literature won by Mr. Saul in Atlanta, USA for his contribution to African literature. More in this report by Ajivin Tudran. The book launching was attended by several dignitaries, including members of the International Association of African Authors and Scholars. The 10,000-word book is less than 50 pages long and centers on the theme, Childhood and Education in African Societies, African Traditions, and Poverty, among other values. The author talks about the inspiration behind this story. I was sent out of the classroom by my literature teacher because I couldn't afford the book, Great Expectations, written by Charles Dickens. I sat down quietly inside the school garden. I said, look, why are Africans, especially Gambians, not using our own books? If this was a Gambian book, I can easily afford it anywhere. I told myself I'm going to write a book, but it was just a joke, so I wasn't even serious about it. According to Mr. So, he started writing this book as a teenager and completed it in six months. And in 2006, he published it. He advised the young generation to inculcate the habit of reading. The most epic chapter here uh, was something that was really happening when I was young, baby dumping. Uh, there was a time in the Gambia, every Johnson you go, you see a cutting or a piece of cloth, something is wrapped in there, or even a plastic bag. And unfortunately, it would be a baby. So I said, I owe my country a lot. I needed to write something about it. So I felt like to write the book as an advocacy tool to advocate, you know, for those kind of things that were really affecting our society. Speakers urge the young to read and support Gambian writers. Young Kuba Dabo, the Commissioner General of the Gambia Revenue Authority, and Dr. Wale Okidero, the Executive Director of Pan African Writers Association, had this to say. What I consider a very comprehensive account of the operation of the apex regulatory weaknesses of the Gambian literature society. This is particularly an important development. For someone like me to leave my medical practice alone and come into writing would show you that really there is a lot to gain from writing. The luncheon also featured stage performances by young poets and drama troops on themes of corruption in Africa, unity and culture. Hasum Sise, the Director General of the National Center for Arts and Culture, gives a review of the book. The writer also uses rich language and imagery and metaphor. His language is simple, which is why this book is really suited even for junior readers. The title of the book itself is a metaphor for Fatu's hidden talent. The cover of the book may look dull, but the text is engaging. Some Gambian artists and poets also received certificates of recognition for their work. The event ended with the presentation of Award of Excellence for African Literature by the International Association of African Authors and Scholars to Modulamin H. Amusaf Sow who said that the award was dedicated to Gambians. His first novel, The Throne of the Ghost, has been translated into several languages and collected awards including the IAAS African Literature Award 2021, the World Writers Association 2020 Award, and the National Reading Hero 2019 Award. Ajibintu Drame, QTV News. The report by Ajibintu